How does the White House respond to the mess of 17 experts with 17 different opinions on this? Well, I spoke with, uh, with one source uh, who works frequently with the White House who told me last night that this is, you know, there is a reality setting in that this is uh, very bad, so to speak. Uh, but my buddy Jonathan Swan over at Axios yeah. has a story out today, uh, or last night, essentially saying that uh, the White House right now is, is trying to flip this back on Democrats. And so I would look for the next 24 to 48 hours for there to be a, a, an emerging communicative strategy coming out of uh, the White House in terms of pressing back hard against Democrats uh, on, on this particular issue, particularly on President, former President Obama's relationship with the Russians. Kevin, where is the vice president? What is he saying? <laughs> How is he positioning himself? This is where this has been fascinating to watch because the vice president today will head to Kentucky uh, with the Kentucky Governor Bevins, uh, and he will be having a small business uh, speech and meeting with small business leaders. Now, there has been a lot of reports <clears throat> inside and in, in, in inside the Beltway press, as well as some even national press, <clears throat> such as the Boston Globe guy. Uh, suggesting that he is laying the groundwork for a 2020 run. He has not given an interview, and his public statement yesterday, Guy, uh, said that he noted that he was not part of yeah. the campaign during uh, <clears throat> when, when, when this July 9th meeting with Kushner, Manafort, and, and Jr. took place. Well, very quickly, Kevin, is Mr. Priebus done? I mean, David Lawler at Axios and others are really saying, this is it. Does Ivanka dial 1-800-DAD and say he's out the door? It, there have been so many rumors I've lost count of the timing of when That's there will fair. be a shakeup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Kevin